Hello everyone and welcome back to Southeast Guitar Repair Academy. Today we're going to be doing the second part of our crack video. We're going to be installing a cleat on the instrument. So those of you who are not familiar with cleats, it's just a teeny little piece of wood that reinforces the crack on the inside uh, to make sure everything stays nice and secure, keeps it from wanting to, to push back open again. Um, you can make these ahead of time. We always have a ton of them on hand. Uh, we actually use, what we use for our cleats are the cutout sound holes from Martin. Martin will cut these out and then we can, they'll send us a big stack of them and then we just cut them on down into these little cleats right here. So the idea of this is when you look at this, when you look at the top, you can see the grain is flowing this way. Now when you glue your cleat in, you want to glue your cleat in against the grain like that. If you were to glue it in like this, this gets very dried out again, the crack starts to open, it's just going to split right down that seam right there. So when you do it against the grain like that, you have something to reinforce it and be a little bit more secure on the inside of that crack. So it's pretty simple, there's not a whole lot to it. Uh, you just want to be sure when you put it on, you do a very clean job. You don't want a whole bunch of mess everywhere. Uh, minimal glue, just enough to cover the surface of the cleat. Uh, placement's very important. Um, on this one, we're probably going to end up doing two. Uh, we're going to do one at a time because we usually use magnets whenever we install these. And we don't want the magnets too close to each other and to pull the, the cleats across or have them to slide across the inside or anything like that. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So yeah, here's these cleats. You don't want them too thick, you don't want them too fat, you don't want them too big. Um, I'll probably go, I'll probably go with something a little bit skinnier. Uh, da, 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 da. This one looks good. So the first one we're actually going to be going between the, uh, the two, these two T2 braces. Um, so we got our crack runs all the way across the, the, the top. You got your bridge plate here. You got about this much space until you get to the T2s, which are here and here. So we're actually going to drop one right in the middle. And then we're going to do the exact same process. We're just going to come back and, and put one out here once this one's dry, which we just need to walk you through the, the one. And then you can put them wherever you want. But don't get carried away. I see a lot of people just cleat, 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 cleat. That's totally unnecessary. You just you only need a couple, you know, spaced out every, every inch or two. Um, it's going to be plenty of support. You don't need anything crazy. So um, what I like to do when I do these is I will take a little piece of double stick tape. I'll put this on one of the magnets and then put the magnet on the cleat. So now what this is going to do Whenever we get in here, it's actually going to guide us. And the wax paper isn't fully necessary. I put it up there just in case. You don't want it sliding around everywhere. But So now I'll put my magnet on top right about where I want it. And now I have my cleat on the inside. And you can see that's guiding me exactly where I know I'm going to be centered on this crack right here. So my magnets are going to line up just like that. So. It's pretty basic. Like I said, double stick tape, a little piece of magnet, a little magnet on the back. Uh, you got your cleat. And like I said, we're going to shoot between these two T2 braces right here. So what you want to do is just put a little bit of glue on here. You don't want to, you don't want it drenched. You just want enough come, come close to the edges so that whenever you get it in there, it's, you don't want it just dripping glue everywhere and it's going to be hard to, to get in there and kind of clean up after you install it so you just want to just put enough there to cover the surface and clean up around the edges here and so that's it right here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold it with these two fingers and i'm going to guide it into place that magnet's going to tell me exactly where i need to be and then we're just going to apply a little bit of pressure down on the inside And it's okay if you get, some people will put their cleats at a little bit of an angle here and there. It's, you're obviously, you know, you're working in the, you're working blindly. So you're just kind of trying to get a good idea. Now, before I put any pressure on that, I'm going to double check with my mirror. See where my placement is. Make sure everything looks good. I'll show you with a bigger mirror in a second. All right, count right through here. 
shift it just a little bit. And double check. And it looks good. Now I'm just going to apply a little bit of pressure. Be sure this glue is making a nice solid contact. Just pushing up just a little bit. You can keep a little bit of pressure on the top. You don't want to push that crack right back open. So just apply a little bit of pressure right there. And that's it. Now I'm going to let this dry. Um, it's best to just let them dry overnight. What you're going to do afterwards is you're going to come through and you're literally just going to peel that magnet off and you're just going to peel that double stick tape right off that cleat. That cleat's going to sit and it's going to be nice and solid. It's going to hold everything in place. Um, we'll put a mirror down on the inside here real quick. See if you guys can see what they look like once they're installed. There's nothing too crazy. Pretty non-intrusive. You want to be sure you use it. Like I said, we use... You can use like a spruce or a cedar or anything like that. Um, you just want to use a, a, a lighter wood. You don't want to use something real heavy and real dense that's going to kind of muffle the vibration of the top or anything like that. So, um, And that's it. We're going to come back and we're going to put a second one in after this one dries. I'll probably come back and do that tomorrow. Um, and that's it. Yeah, like I said, I put this wax paper down just because you know, I've been using these magnets for years. And whenever you get in there and you try to find it, sometimes they have a tendency to, to slip around. That'll just kind of keep it from scratching up the top a little bit, um, but nothing too crazy. Also, they do make these rare earth magnets as well. These, when you got to do something a little bit more aggressive, maybe a little bit larger cleat or anything like that, these are, are very handy. When they come in the plastic, they're already protected, but they're very strong. So careful, you will pinch yourself. Um, but it's best to just get these teeny little rare earth magnets. Um, I think I got these at... Maybe Hobby Lobby, I think. Hobby Lobby or maybe even Har Harbor Freight or something like that. I mean, you can find them anywhere. They're just, you don't need a whole lot. Just a teeny little bit of magnet is fine. Um, prefer, I prefer the rare earth ones. They're going to be stronger and they'll be able to go, uh, they'll be able to hold stability through a little bit of a, a thicker material. So um, but that's it. This crack's going to be nice and secure. We'll add the second cleat on tomorrow. Um, then she'll be ready to rock and roll. If you guys have any questions, feel free to give us a holler. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.